there'll never be a Beatle reunion uh, on stage and uh, as long as John remains dead. This thing is not a go. This horse will not run. This parrot is posthumous and so on. <laughs> really was happiest in his life with Maypack. Will they ever team up again? It's I quite ask. possible, yes. I don't know why the hell we'd do it, but it's possible. Would you like that? If it happens, I'll enjoy it. When we were at the beach house, we had McCartney coming by, so it was like a bunch of people during the day. So he would come over for rehearsal to our house, and it was all John and um, Mal Evans. Ringo Starr also spent time at Lennon's beach pad. The memories are now all fond and the wounds are healed and if we do it, we do it. If we record, we record. I don't know. You want to smoke, Steve? Steve? What's going on? Yoko invited him over to the Dakota for a hypnotist session. All plans of collaborating with his old band were dropped. I'm just angry that it didn't happen, because I know that John wanted to do it. Fortunately, I met you at the right time. Unfortunately, that's right. <laughs> but uh, in the end, I wonder what's going to happen. Drugs win hand down. I say hand down. Did you maneuver the set in? Well, shooting is exercise. Shooting is exercise, oh yeah. We just got yes. arrested for the cheesed off with it. Well, shooting is exercise. Well, shooting is exercise. I think she had it all planned. The catcher in the rat, the phony mustache. The catcher in the rat. It's kind of a phony, isn't it? who was 40 was hit by several bullets. I suppose they tried to kill John. John. She played it innocent, but I think she had it all planned. John. I think she knew exactly what she was doing from day one. There are millions of girls who would love to have met, let alone married. Uh, one of the four, any one of the four, probably, but certainly a lot of them. Well, are. I resent to, you know, to, to think of him as, as one of the four, you know. Yeah. I mean, or any one of the four, etc. because I just met him as another artist and all that, and I didn't, you know, particularly realize that part of it, really. Yoko came around to my house, knocking on the door. She said, it's John Cage's birthday, and us artists want to collect a bunch of manuscripts to give him. Right. I like to keep that stuff where we wrote, you know, yesterday on the back of an envelope. But you said, but my friend John might. You were a Beatles fan or before, or would you say you were a Lennon fan before? Uh, neither. Neither. <laughs> didn't care for she either didn't of really them. Didn't know about it. No, the only name she knew was Ringo because it means apple in Japanese. She knew who the Beatles were she because met him. she met you. Yeah. Right. And that's my recollection that I then said, and he lives here, and she went to see him. She knew of the Beatles. Did they really know about it? I don't know. You but know, of course, I mean, I mean, if she knocked just, on your door, she knew you were a Beatle. She wanted a manuscript of right. what? Of John Doe? I just met him as another artist and all that, and I didn't, you know, particularly realize that part of it. Is it true that uh, you were responsible of the split of the Beatles? Well, then I must be a very powerful woman. John Lennon. John Lennon. John Lennon. John Lennon. Was it fault? No. I don't think that I should uh, take such a credit. 
We made a ring around the world together. That's a very strong ring.